Hi, Cindy Porter with you again today to share a quick little video I created for Art and Soul Studio um, demonstrating how to create some image transfers using your gel press plate. There's a couple of tags that I created. Created this video for Art and Soul Studio to play along with their June Challenge mood board that is currently running. Um, it has a color theme and the only other thing that you must use is your own handwriting to enter the challenge. I began by using some Dina Wakely heavy body media paint um, in night and put a very thin layer down on my gel plate. I then laid a magazine image that I found of the Eiffel Tower onto the gel plate, rubbed it down firmly with my hands and then peeled it back. Now once that's done, I'm just checking tag size there, you have to wait for this layer of paint to completely dry. If you move on before it's dried you will ruin your image. So now I'm adding some more Dina Wakely paint once it's dried, some lime and white and brayering that onto the gel plate over the image. It's important to not put too much paint over the image um, otherwise you won't get a good transfer so you'll see here that I am removing some paint slightly with the brayer just rolling it and cleaning it. I'll then lay my tag down onto that, rub it down firmly get a scrap piece of paper to pull up all the excess paint from the plate give it a second and then peel it back and look at that awesome transfer isn't that cool? love how it turns out so here I'm going to do another one again I laid down some uh, Dina Wakely paint in night brayer that on not too thickly and grab another image that I uh, pulled out of a magazine and this time I grabbed a bit of music sheet paper as well so it should be sheet music paper mm. <laughs> rubbing them down firmly you must rub them down firmly or you won't get any transfer and I should also mention that while this one is drying that you don't always uh, they don't always work it depends on the print on the magazine there I grabbed out my Carabao Studio printing plate uh, with butterflies just to give uh, her trousers a bit of extra definition once dry I have added some more Dina Wakely paint in turquoise and lime and I'm brayering that over and again making sure it's not too thick grabbing another one of the large dilutions tags to do my transfer and again using scrap paper to remove the excess around the tag and another successful print so here's what I managed to get off these couple was two great tags and um, some nice print on my scrap piece of paper that I will chop up and use in my journal at some stage. Um, I wanted to emphasize the uh, figure that on my tag that I created, transfer figure, so I'm using some Joe Sonia warm white and just watering it down slightly and painting over the top of the transferred image just to make the figure stand out uh, more, give it much more definition. So I'm just painting in uh, all her skin areas at the moment, the face, the arm, the hand, just those basic features. Just painting it in exactly as it transferred. Also around the neckline there. just to give a bit more oomph to the piece. Next I've grabbed out my Aquarel uh, pen, P 
pencil, I should say. I love this pencil, like so many others. It's fabulous for creating depth and shading. So I apply it and then use a wet brush to activate it to give that gorgeous, rich, rich black that it creates. Around the hairline, I blended it out a bit more with a bit of extra water. I move on to a Posca pen in light green just to give those butterfly images on her pants a bit of extra detail and decide to put a little bit of colour into her hair. You'll see here I grabbed the wet paintbrush and I'm going over that Posca pen that I put in her hair. Um, don't know if you're aware or not but you can actually uh, use water to blend out the paint that comes out of the Posca pens and it comes up really fabulously. Finally to finish her off I'm just adding a little quote I've grabbed my feud ball pen to do that and the quote I've chosen is self-confidence is the best outfit rock it own it decide that I want to give her face just a little bit more detail with the feud ball pen and the white sharpie to add extra details in and highlights before I move on to my Eiffel Tower. So for the Eiffel Tower I'm repeating the process using the black aquarel pencil to add shading and depth and activating that with the wet brush grabbing my green, light green Posca pen again to add a little bit of uh, colour to the bushes in front of the Eiffel Tower and writing my quote with my black feud ball pen and this quote that I chose was to travel is to take a journey into yourself thank you for joining me uh, today with this video I hope you'll have a go at this challenge over at Art and Soul Studio uh, for your chance to win a prize thank you for joining me bye for now